Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is Raven89 coming at you again with another session of Super Speed Double Battle Competition. This video is actually going to be the last video for this series, the double action series. It's been a lot of fun just messing around with double. I've, like I said before, I've never really done it before and uh, it's just been really fun. So I hope to uh, have some more experience with double and next time there's a competition or something like that along uh, the lines of a double uh, s setup, hopefully I'll be doing better and have some great videos coming your way. So because this is the last video, of well the last session of this video series i have an odd number of battles to show you so i'm gonna get all three into this battle so well into this video so let's go ahead and jump into it uh, right away all right so my team we're starting off with greninja haxorus and talonflame and on the opposing side there's going to be molile uh avalug very interesting to see avalug kind of scared not gonna lie um, especially when two of my Pokemon I brought were actually physical attacking, so kind of scary. And, um, and then we got Blaziken, so Blaziken is always a problem. So let's go ahead and jump into this battle and see what goes down. Just another update. Hey, look, you can see me. What up? Um, just to give you guys another update, I'm at 98 subscribers as... Of right now, I checked recently, I'm at 98 subscribers, so 100 gets you guys a giveaway of Carvana. So, we're starting off with Greninja and Haxorus, and out comes the Avalug and Blaziken. So, Mold Breaking is going to happen. Blaziken is, of course, going to go for the Protect, and it's going to be protecting itself from all sorts of shenanigans. But Greninja is going to go for the Map Block, so now I'm going to be protecting my own two Pokemon for some from some moves. And the Hexorus is going to go right for a free Dragon Dance. So that's awesome for me. Okay, so Avalug is actually going to go for an Avalanche, but it is going to get blocked by the map block, and Blaziken is going to get his speed boost. Now, I go for the Rock Slide. It only hits one Pokemon. I couldn't tell except until now. You can see it was Avalug. Unfortunately, it's... Super, it's super effective, so now this Avalug has weakness policy. That's really scary, I'm just saying. And focus, uh, now this uh, Blaziken is going to go for the focus energy or whatever it was called. So I do go for the special attacking move on the Avalug. I go for the Scald. It is able to kill it because Avalug has no special defenses. And Blaziken is going to go ahead and get its uh, speed boost up. Out comes the Moal. Now it's going to get its Intimidate. It's going to basically just undo my Dragon Dance, which is very unfortunate. And it's going to Mega Evolve. So now just, uh, this Moal is going to be a problem. I'm just saying, right now it's going to be a problem. Uh, Blaziken is going to go for a Stone Edge. It lands, does more than half because it's a crit. He critted it. Just saying. I do go for the Rock Slide. It's not going to do much damage to any of these Pokemon. Greninja is going to go for a Scald, it is going to hit the Blaze again, and that's going to be able to knock it out. Finally, it's lived long enough, speed boosting all over my face. Now, Marl actually goes for the Play Rough on the Greninja. I do have Focus Sash, so it is going to live that move. And, of course, it's going to go for Sucker Punch to easily kill the Greninja. Uh, because, I guess, he was afraid of the Scald. And uh, I don't really have much to hit it with with Haxorus. So I do get a crit with the Rock Slide, and it's not going to do very much. And out comes Talonflame. So Ma is going to go for the Sucker Punch on the Talonflame, try to get rid of the threat. For some reason, I went for Dragon Dance on Haxorus. I think it was one of the situations where I ran out of time and it automatically chose a move for me. So out comes the Flare Bliss on the Molile. That's definitely going to be super effective and be able to knock it out. And down goes Mole Owl. Mega Mole Owl. Ladies and gentlemen. And Town Fam is going to take some recoil, but still live. So that's awesome. So yeah. quick, Nice, quick, easy battle. Weakness Policy Avalug. That's special. That's different. That's very different. Anyway, next battle. We're going to go into my team, which is going to be Greninja. Uh, Tyranitar and my boy Sharpedo, and on the opposite side, Labor, uh, is actually going to be Mr. Mime. Interesting. Mr. Mime, Meowstick, and 
Garchomp. So it has a setup, Prankster, Meow Stick, a Mr. Mind that does. Mr. Mind can hit every single one of my Pokemon because it's fairy. And Garchomp just destroys things. So let's go ahead and jump into this battle and see how it goes down. You can see my reflection. I usually record at night so you can never see my reflection, but it's daytime, as you can see. So, out comes the Garchomp and the Meow Stick, so that could be definitely an issue. And out comes my Greninja and my Tyranitar. So, shiny Greninja. Always shiny. Anyway, Sandstream, it's gonna be Sandy up in here now. Garchomp is gonna go f first for the Mega Evolution. So, that just shows me Garchomp's faster. So, maybe there's a choice scarf, maybe not. Who knows? Anyway, Tyranitar is gonna go for his own. Mega Evolution, so that's pretty cool. So you got two big boys on the field trying to intimidate each other or whatever. Meowstic is going to go for the Quick Guard, so that's very interesting for that. And Greninja is actually going to go right for the Taunt onto the Meowstic. So he went for a uh, Quick Guard. It didn't do anything, and uh, now he's taunted. So now you have a useless Meowstic on the field. Garchomp is going to go for a move. I think it was a Crunch. On the Tyranitar, Tyranitar is able to live, and Tyranitar is going to get a Dragon Dance off, which is very awesome for me. Greninja is going to get buffeted by the Sandstorm, and so is Meowstic. Now, at this point, oh, Meowstic has leftovers. So at least I know it's not Focus Sash, which is awesome. Now, Meowstic is going to be able to get withdrawn here, and out comes Mr. Mime. So Mr. Mime is going to be coming out here and pretending there's a wall in front of him. I am going to go for the Ice Beam on the Guard Chomp. That is going to be super effective, easily taking out this Guard Chomp. So, it's times four effective, so it, it's dead. And Tyranitar is going to go for a Crunch on the Mr. Mime. Mr. Mime is not going to be able to like that at all. It's neutral damage, fairy, and psychic, so it's neutral damage is going to kill. Greninja is going to get buffeted by the sand again, and out comes this lonely little Meow Stick. So, Meow Stick's going to be coming out here. It's going to do Fake Out. Fake Out on the Greninja is not going to do much damage whatsoever. And Tyranitar is going to go right for the Crunch. And major damage, and that's going to die. I was surprised he didn't go for the Fake Out on the Tyranitar. But maybe he was afraid of another... Taunt, that's a possibility. I don't know. I think at that point it was just game over. Anyway, last battle. The last super speed double battle competition battle thing. I don't know. I said battle like eight times. Anyway, this is the last one. The last one. I hope you guys enjoy it. I'm going to be showing off. Showing off. I'm going to be showing my team. My team is actually going to be consisting of Greninja. Volcarona and my boy Sharpedo. That's cool. Sharpedo is in my last battle. I'm so happy. I love Sharpedo. Anyway. So, there's a Sharpedo. And uh, the other side is going to be a Lucario. Sorry, I'm being distracted here. Lucario, Charizard, and Aerodactyl. So, two flying types, uh, one firing, one fire, uh, one rock, so that's pretty decent. And you have a steel type, so my team should be able to do some damage against the opposite side. So, let's go ahead and jump into this last battle of this series. I'm sad it's ending. I really am. I'm sad that it's ending. But, when something ends, there's a beginning to something else, so I'm excited for that. Out comes the Aerodactyl and the Charizard, and out comes my Volcarona and my Greninja. So, it, Aerodactyl's gonna be doing its pressure thing. Charizard Y, Black Charizard Y, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, a Black Charizard Y. Hey, it happens. Anyway, out comes a Drought. So, my water moves are not going to be very effective, but I went for the Ice type onto the Aerodactyl. That's going to hit it really hard and knock it out. Aerodactyl is actually really fragile, and I outsped Aerodactyl. That's kind of interesting. I don't know. I don't know if I usually get outsped by Aerodactyl or not. I'm not sure. But anyway, here comes the 
Solar Beam, but that's not going to do very much because I am Ice type, so that's going to be resisted. And Volcarona does get its uh, Quiver Dance safely off. So out comes Lucario. So Lucario is going to be coming out here. Greninja is going to go for the Scald. Scald is going to be directed right towards the Charizard. It's not going to do much damage because the sun is up. So it is super effective, but it doesn't do anything. I do go for the Psychic on the Lucario with Volcarona. It does not do enough to kill, but I get the special defense drop. Out comes Lucario with the Aura Sphere onto Greninja. So that's going to kill Greninja. That's very saddening, but it happens. So, Charger goes for Fly. Yeah. Charizard went for Fly. So, Sharpedo is going to go for the Aqua Jet that is going to hit Lucario. It's actually a critical hit. Crit. It's a crit. And uh, it actually hits, and uh, it kills it. So that's pretty cool. If you guys know who Shady Penguin is, it's a crit. It's his thing. It's not mine. So, giving giving uh, credit to Shady Penguin. Anyway, uh, focus... I mean, focus. Weakness policy is going to get activated with the Volcarana. So, its attack is going to go up. And I get my speed boost on the Sharpedo. Sharpedo goes for the Crunch. Life Orb Crunch is enough to kill this Charizard. And that's the end of the match. That's it. That's the end of my series. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Just to let you know, again, another reminder, as soon as I hit 100 subscribers, I will be doing my Carvana giveaway. My Raven 89 edition Carvana giveaway. That's what I'm calling it. I'm sticking to it. Uh, I'm probably going to... I don't know what I'm going to do for it. I, I know I'm, for one hour, I will be giving away Carvanas. That's a given. That's going to happen. But I was thinking about maybe doing it live. Maybe recording the whole session. But that's going to take up a lot of memory on my phone. And I don't know it's gonna if it's going to be long enough on my computer. I could stream it live on my computer and you guys would just be watching my face and then I'll be showing off the DS. I don't know. You got, Let me know what you guys want. I don't really know how to do it. I could just do it and just be like, thanks for taking Carvana from me. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Also, I'm looking for somebody to, with creative talent to do an intro video for me. So if you have any interest and any skill in something like that, please let me know in the comment section below. Or you can message me on Facebook or Twitter and I'll reach out to you. See what we can work out together. I'll be giving you full credit of everything. I'm not taking credit for anything. And I will spread the word of your work. Again, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll catch y'all later. Catch you with the next series. Peace out.